the Azure scene here and as well as by seeing the thumbnail of this video you can certainly assume that this video is about uh, an old transistor radio which was used back in the 90s uh, by many of uh, the then uh, people uh, around the world this is a, simply a SW and MW and FM radio mainly it can also uh, uh, um, it's mainly a FM radio uh, where there occurs frequency modulation uh, frequency modulation is a type of process in communication systems especially it is a modulation process in where uh, with the carrier frequency uh, the frequency of a message signal varies so with the help of this principle uh, this radio is uh, constructed uh, this radio has been in my locker room uh, for about um, 10 or 10 to 12 years or more than that it is used by my grandfather uh, who is to listen to, uh, listen to different types of songs and uh, uh, mainly uh, different types of news from <coughs> by tuning with this tuner this is mainly a tuner here you can see this is a tuner uh, this tuner is mainly uh, we can say that it is a bandpass filter uh, certainly uh, many of our many of my uh, viewers may think why i am saying such type of things that what is frequency modulation or uh, what is the meaning of tuner and uh, which is basically a bandpass filter uh, this is because that uh, this is mainly included in the engineering sector or uh, where uh, you need to know about uh, mainly in the vocational sector uh, where you need to know about uh, what a radio should look like and uh, what's inside uh, it <coughs> so without further delay uh, let us uh, open uh, let us see the external parts at, at first uh, uh, at first may, uh, let us see that uh, what is this this is mainly an antenna which is required to receive many signals uh, coming from the tower uh, which is uh, another principle of radio communication basically it radiates <coughs> transmits or receives radi uh, radio waves uh, as most of us which are seeing who are seeing <coughs> the video can uh, tell uh, it exactly such and uh, mainly they are seen a uh, hair tuner which I have previously discussed before about it that it mainly tunes the different frequencies required for modulation that is FM uh, that which is mainly fre frequency modulation then let us see that uh, this is SW band these uh, uh, the total there are seven bands in this channel where you can tune the <coughs> different types of uh, FM, FM signals through this and uh, with this you can shift from one starting from one and here you can see that it is it has been uh, pointed to one uh, the SW band and then there is two then three and it will go on like this up to band number seven <coughs> and you can see that all are tuning here as megahertz and there are mainly other switches like uh, in which mode you are you will be having this that is SW MW and FM and last there uh, is the off switch which mainly is the uh, power off switch and uh, this is mainly the external parts and it is the speaker portion uh, from where the sound of the broadcasting signal mainly comes here <coughs> from here and you can see that uh, at the previous times uh, the antenna were very large you can see here we can extend it up to this and then up to here and you know that this this is a very serious disadvantage for uh, the then people who used to have that because 
uh, having a great uh, having a tall antenna means having a large wavelength and so frequency tuning is mainly of less range in the uh, uh, when you are using this type of FM SW and MW radio now let us see what's inside of this radio by using a screwdriver as you can see to unscrew the parts here you can see here here then here 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 and here now let us see the unscrewing part so i have <coughs> unscrewed all the parts let us now try to open it There is, uh, there is, it is mainly a portion of the covering, uh, so don't hesitate, hesitate about that. So this is the back part, you can see with the antenna attached to it and you can see that the antenna is mainly attached to a type of, uh, what we can say that a type of wiring here I think, so I don't know about much of that. So let us check out that and let us see the PCB board. You can see that oh my god, there has been a lot of errors, a couple, not a couple of errors, it has been a long, long air. Uh, which is, you can see that rust has been gathered in this portion of the PCB. Let us okay. This is a simple circuit type of circuit. You can, as you can see here, yeah, there has been used a capacitor. Uh, this is mainly uh, this portion is mainly DC jack uh, by which you can power up the radio uh, by any external means. Okay, let us. Uh, this is <coughs> mainly a external jack and this is the audio jack by which you can plug a, a headphone and you can listen to the different radio recordings according <laughs> accordingly with your <coughs> with your earphone uh, which is a very common thing uh, nowadays which is a common uh, device nowadays this is the on off switch as you can see here this is an on off switch by which you can uh, on or off the radio here uh, with that with this okay then this is mainly the tuner as uh, not the tuner sorry uh, this is not the tuner this is the tuner this tuner is mainly seen, uh, seen that the tuner is rotating but uh, up line a uh, type of line here you can see type of line here is mainly moving but not the tuner which is itself rotating here like that then we can see here uh, I think it is mainly uh, what you can say that uh, that wasn't really included here I think this is one type of volume uh, up and down but, uh, but uh, scroll scrolling wheel uh, by which you can uh, increase or decrease the volume and uh, here you can see that uh, there is a resistor uh, there is uh, and uh, there is a diode uh, we, by which there occurs mainly I think rectification or some other types of stuffs uh, by which uh, it is converting to it is <coughs> it has been converted to DC and uh, this capacitors are mainly I think they are used as an uh, tuning circuit um, you know that a simple tuning oscillator can be made voltage control oscillator can be made by using an inductor and a capacitor uh, in parallel combination to each other <coughs> so like that and I think this portion can be, can be opened here and uh, and this is mainly the uh, battery I think that this is mainly a mainly not the battery I think 
uh, as far as no as I know that my uh, grandfather used uh, DC jack uh, as I have said that with this to in order to power up the radio uh, total radio system <laughs> okay without further delay so let's proceed so this is mainly uh, three LEDs uh, which mainly denotes the FM portion this is mainly for an FM portion this is MW and another is for SW portion the three types of uh, modulation or uh, switching modulation case and modulation and you can see and I have uh, previously discussed that this is mainly a band changer uh, as this there contains seven bands here you can change the bands and you, you can see that uh, the slider slides like this if you go that uh, slide will go to the left side and if you go to the right the slide will cover to the right side and um, I think this is mainly the radio full radio portion uh, of that and uh, this is the you can see and the, the below part that there is two types of there are two types of signal uh, uh, types of uh, portion uh, I think this portion is connected directly to the speaker yeah the the speaker uh, which mainly uh, amplifies I think that there has been included an amplifier too in order to <coughs> sound amplifier in order to uh, increase the amplitude of the signal uh, that comes from the transmitting side and you can see that and you know usually that these types of radios are not aren't available nowadays in our uh, in our <coughs> in, your, uh, in your world because this technology is very as I have said before that it, it the main disadvantage of this uh, technology is that uh, having a large antenna causes to tune only a few range of bands or frequencies that that is the main problem or cause and another thing is that it wasn't very cheap at that moment also and uh, uh, nowadays pocket uh, uh, radio as well as smartphones that are used in everyday uh, by many of us are there uh, there has been added their radio so this is mainly the inside and outside portion uh, of radio which i have tried my best to explain this the parts of the simple of a simple transmitter radio that as uh, that was used at 19th century and 18th 80s back in the 80s and 90s that time so uh, see you guys in our, in my next video and of course don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit a like button if you like my video and hit also hit the bell button in order to have notifications of new videos if I upload that so goodbye and see you on, on my next video